At 21 years old, Raymond Kibet's athletics career is taking off. He is preparing to compete in next month's World Championships in London. Right now I'm working on my speed, which everyone is doing that right now, because it's about a month to, to the world, so it's, it's picking up. It will be Kibet's second major championship. Last year he competed in the Rio Olympics, coming fifth in the heats. This is the first time I'm, I'm walking into a championship uh, with a straight mind. You know, last year I went to Rio. I hadn't trained, I didn't work on my, I didn't work on my block starts, I didn't work on my speed. It was a good experience because it opened up my mind to see that to, to be who, who those guys are, you have to put a lot of effort in that, which I did through, during this, uh, the, past, the past year. So I think when I head out to, to, world, to the world this year, I'll be a different person. Raymond's confidence is born out of his new training base, the Tulane University in New Orleans. He joined the university on a sports scholarship to study chemical engineering. He says it took some time to adjust. Competition, you know, we, we, we are used to going to meets, running 48s in, in the dirt track. You go there, people run 45s. So I was, I was, I was trying to deal with my, my training, my competition, at the same time my studies. The, 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 the worst thing about Kenya is that we have talent, and people think that if you have talent, you'll win. No. Hard work beats talent if talent doesn't work. Raymond was part of Kenya's 4x400 meter All Africa Games winning team in 2015. His personal best has improved to 45.21 seconds in the one lap race. The achievements of Olympic and world champion Wade Van Nikak of South Africa and Kenyan compatriot Nicholas Bett, the 400 meter hurdles world champion, give Kibet hope that he too can conquer a world dominated by American athletes. But for the moment, he has set realistic goals. Maybe make the same finals, break my PR. That's my main aim, because I know if I break my PR, I'll be running 44. If you run the 44, you're in the semifinals. Raymond will also have a chance to run for Kenya's 4x400 meter team, should the country make the IAAF's ranking. Raymond's introduction to track and field was purely by chance. In high school, he was a handball player, and during a school athletics meet, he was asked to represent his group in the 400 meters. He excelled and from then on made the switch. Now he hopes that his love for sprinting can see him excel at the global stage like Kenya's long and middle distance athletes have. Celestine Karone, CGTN in Nairobi, Kenya.